Hey guys, Dan here with Sterling Self Defense and Badger with Badger Less Lethal. Badger, say hi. Uh, and a cameo by Panther, possibly, the bird killer. Alright guys, I'm here today with quite possibly the baddest VKS the planet has ever seen. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is the Viper. We've all seen it. I've had the Viper out for quite a few years. Kind of a top tank shorty. This one's just a little different. Drum mag. Uh, got a red dot sight. Got a smooth bore barrel, metal detents. Uh, I think this is 11 and a half with uh, quick connect. It's got the top mounted. 10 CI first strike tank, so you can't get any more. My personal stock. Nice thing about this one, tank folds up and out of the way on top. So you can slip it under stuff and when you're ready, flip right back down, out of the way of the sight. And the fold down stock. Hell of a gun. And with that drum mag in there, woo, it's a beauty. All right, going out to a customer, just got it finished up. A lot of... A lot of Loctite going on this with all the air connections, so it takes a little longer than most of the guns, but uh, it's a good one. All right, we'll test it out, see what kind of numbers we get, and we'll test out another gun while we're at it after this. Let's move it up. You guys can see the trap. All right, eye protection. Get the Viper going. All right, eight grand jewels. Chronograph. Take you off. Oh. All right, not air up this tank. Ah, oh. I put an empty tank on. I didn't even notice I grabbed the wrong tank. Had enough for one little bit too. All right, guys, gotta put you on pause because gotta charge the tank. All right, hold on. All right, guys, we're back with the wipe. We're all charged up. Sorry about that. You know me, I'm always forgetting something. Uh, where's my protection? Well, I'll throw it down somewhere, but I've got a backup. All right, try this again. It's no fun having to chronograph all this. It's much more fun to just hold the gun and shoot it. Five oh two. Four forty six. Four forty eight. Five hundred. Five oh two. 498. 438. All right. Any rounds left? I'm gonna have some fun with this. All right. 498. All right. Oh. They go so quick, don't they? Drum mag's fun. I didn't fill it all the way up. I think I had, uh, I don't know what I had. Well, I'll know. I'll count them in the video. And I'll put it up there. Hey! Panther, stop playing with my jewels. Alright, so that was the Viper. Alright, now we're going to try out uh, the one with no name that we had on uh, one of my last videos with that uh, one of my Super Bowl adorations. adorations. Let me put this down. And... I'm going to try this one out again. No name. Now this one's got the Super Bowl name. We're going to do a CO2 test. See how it fares with the CO2. We got 12 grams CO, uh, CO2. 8 gram joules. Grimberg. See what it does. Alright. We got the funky color going on in here. Oh, 
I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab another mag and some CO2. Hold on. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just got some new uh, T8.1 mags in, and uh, I didn't test them yet, so I'm testing them now. And uh, of course, the first one had a leak, so I guess they're not all up to snuff. Second one I went to load, it's got no bar. Balls shooting all over the place. Third time to charm, see if this one works. I have to test them anyway, so. All right, now we got the big monster with the super valve. See what kind of numbers it gets with just CO2. All right, and away we go. Five twenty six. A kick. Oh man, crap. Not feeding. Ah. Oh. Follower. Right. I sorry, Kelly. I didn't look at the sticker. And there was a, at least there was a round still left in there from the last time. But all right, let me. And I put a fresh CO2 in because I already wasted a shot. Man. I was just using HPA, so I kind of forgot. Right. I won't put down pause. Quick little change out. Right. Let me see the dead soldier. Now, and I'm using, uh, it can't, this one's just got a regular spring in it, not the heavy duty. We'll see how it feeds. All right, now remember the follower. Got to remember the follower. CO2. It sucks when you're doing a test because once you put off the first shot, it's not a good test anymore. You know, forget the follower. All right, follower is engaged. Now I'm going to air it up. All right, air it up. So that works. Okay, so we're using, seeing these ones, just got the paintball springs. I haven't used those in a while. I forget how they feed because it's heavier around. We're about to find out. All right, first shot. Five sixteen. Three seventy four. Ooh, you need CO two. Okay. Well, I don't see CO2s. Man, I haven't lost one of these CO2s. I'm using the CO2s that came with that uh, new gun I got the other day, a French gun, that little 50 cal. CO2s are like half full in some of these. Ah, can't wait today. I'm testing. Ah. Let, me, uh, let me grab a non one of those. Grab one of my CO2s. Oh no, I plug it up there. Alright, here we go, guys. For CO2. It's funny, look at this. I found a CO2 from 30 years ago, my old paintball days. So I'm gonna try that, see if it works. Not right now, but try another gun. I think I'm pulling some rounds out of my trap. I want to show you guys that again. You know, the freaking nylon from my ballistic nylon just welded onto it. Ridiculous. I gotta I gotta start putting Kevlar on the outside. Because the nylon just, you know, what hits on such a heavy impact, it just melts it right into the round. That's insane, isn't it? My little hairy jewels. No pun intended. Alright, here we go. Alright, first shot. Four seventy four. Freaking cold CO two. I'm not getting good pressure today. Finally got cold out here again today. Unfortunately, stopped freezing. Oh, again with the freaking follower. Ah! Is that like the third time with the follower? Oh, I can't win. I'm looking right at the sticker. Going up to retest here. Oh, 
I'm gonna start removing the followers from all my mags and stop using them. It's ridiculous. I can't remember them. Heavy CO2 two, uh, bills this month. Mayo and stupidity. Yeah. Try it again. I gotta put a light on that follower sign, like neon or something. All right, there we go. Follower's good. Air it up. All right, here we go. Again, my trap's falling apart. Ah, that nah, should hold up for this. Hopefully. 472. A little low on the new adjustments, but. 326. That's it. All right, I gotta do some adjustments on this one. Apparently blown through too much CO2. And uh, after the first shot, I ain't got much power on the second shot. So I don't think it's just the CO2. I think it's just the adjustment I made. I'm using too much CO2 on that first shot. But it wasn't that high in numbers. First one was 500, and then we got like four something, 490s. I don't know. Well, I'm still working on it, so we'll get there. Just got to get it balanced out so I can get the most high power rounds out of one mag. I want to try to get, you know, eight out of it. And believe it or not, you can get, you adjust these right, you can get a lot more out of 12. If you look at some of my older videos, you know, I'm shooting super high numbers with just a 12 gram CO2. I never use 16 or 20s. Don't ask me why, but I, I like the 12s. And if you, if you tune your guns well, 12 goes a long way. It even surprises me. If you look, look at my older videos. I'm getting over 300 all eight rounds, which is freaking amazing. I don't even know how it does it, but it's pretty cool. You know, first shot's like 500, and then it goes down to like, what was it, like 460, then 390, then uh, on to there. It's, it's in one of my older videos. Just look for uh, CO2 testing. I forget which gun it was, but. Most of them, that's pretty much the numbers I get. But I'm always surprised at how many rounds I get out of a 12 gram. I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll grab my uh, 20 gram, my 16 grams out of the drawers, and uh, we'll test them out. But all right, that's it for today, guys. I got to go back and tune this sucker, get it going where I want to be. But uh, very happy with the Viper. That is a cool one. Yeah, and this drum mag, oh, it's just so cool. This guy didn't order a drum mag. I just... I like playing with the drum mag, so kind of look great on there at all. It's that Tommy gun look. Not great for a car, you know. Obviously, it's not as compact. You know, this 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 one's made to be compact, so drum mag really doesn't go with this one. Because you know, flip up tank, fold in stock. This is something that you're basically going to stick under behind the seat in your truck or under the seat in your car. But you know, alongside your bed, under your mattress. My nice thing about this, it fits everywhere. But unfortunately, the drum mag sticking out it takes away from that. But a uh, 10 round mag, 15 round mag on the bottom. It's nice, it's got a nice slim profile. I like it, you know. It's, one, it's still one of my favorite builds. I built this, uh, first started doing the top, the top tanks uh, like three years ago. Came out with this one a couple years ago. And this is definitely even one of my favorites for the compacts. I love the folding stock. Can't beat that. All right, but it's always hard to pick a favorite. They're all my favorite. But anyway, all right, guys. I will see you on the next one. Hey, guys. Back again. Sorry about that. Uh, I must be tired tonight. I'm forgetting everything. Uh, the Viper I brought out earlier, I said it was an 11 half inch barrel. It was only a 9 inch barrel. Should have been obvious. Close quarters rig, you know. It was only a nine inch barrel, but the customer did order an 11 and a half to go with it. So I should test that one out too. Now we see it's uh, a bit longer with the 11 and a half, but also with a bit longer, you get more power. This is a VKS, they're both VKS one barrels. 
uh, 686 smooth bore. This one's just longer. So, well, test this one out too, like I should have done before, or at least told you the right size barrel. I'm sure you guys saw it and you were yelling at the screen, that's not an 11 and a half, there's no way, it's only a four inch hand guard there, how can that be that? Ah, uh, yeah. My bad. Alright, still got some air left in here, so, shoot these off. Okay, so, the VKS1 barrel, metal detents, SSD barrel. Let's shoot like this. There we go. One end. Right. 5.22. Yep, yeah, there's a difference. Oh, killing my crap. 4.52. Five oh six. Five hundred. Five ten. Five oh eight. Oh, that's so loud. The last one was five oh eight. I hate that. I should have counted my rounds. Oh, it's so loud. Need my ear protection. All right, guys. That is the Viper, and that's what the Viper looks like with a 10 gram modified mag. A little smaller that way, but longer barrel on it. So this guy, he might the option to have a little more power, longer barrel when we needed it. And a nice close quarters, short one. It's even shorter when you take off the suppressor. Suppressor adds, you know, good six and a quarter inches, so. All right, guys, sorry about that mix up. First one was his little barrel. That's a lot of power. I have a little barrel, though. Remember the days when guys were only getting, like, freaking well under 300 with their little cutoff barrels? <laughs> All right, guys. See you on the next one.